Hello friends, welcome. This is Zubair Al-Dhaf Qureshi and in this video I'll be showing you how to add uh, big IP F5 on your EVNG virtual machine. So uh, let's begin. So first of all you need your EVNG uh, like working in your workstation, right? If you don't know how to uh, run EVNG in your workstation, please uh, search my video, uh, search in my channel. Uh, and I have a video of how to install uh, VM workstation. Uh, I, I mean EVNG into VM, VMware workstation, right? So, uh, so let's let's see how to add now to so, uh, this uh, F5 into your workstation. Right? So I will go to my IP that is one dot triple one. That is my EVNG. Okay, you can see here also that is my EVNG one dot triple one. And admin and Eve is the default login for your GUI and what I'll do is I'll I'll just close this okay I'll just close this lab and I will add a new lab say F5 okay F5 and save so I will show you that I don't have the F5 VMware there say cancel and I will go here and say F5 lab I click mode and you can see that I don't have big IP uh, in here right uh, so where is my big IP no I don't have it right I don't have it uh, okay. yeah this one sorry so this is uh, like grayed out so first of all what you need to do is you need to go to this website which I will be like pasting in my comments you can uh, description you can go there and go and download this one or this one whichever you want right you go inside you have these two uh, QCO files and you go inside you have these two files so you can download this as I have already downloaded so next thing what you need to do is after downloading is uh, run the bin SCP client or any uh, like file driver transfer client you have like files filezilla also will work and go to your uh, machine right root and eve is the username and password now once you go there you have to go into the opt mm -hmm. opt folder and then unit lab folder and then add-ons and then key here you can see i don't have the big ip right so i have downloaded the big ip let me go here and let me go into my uh, and I have this and I have and it means images and dynamic schema yeah yeah I have this file okay you need to drag and drop this remember the naming right it should be big IP or hyphen than anything right that is the naming convention inside the file should be hda.qca and hdb.qca file so this is how you have to name if the name of the folder and the files are known just drag and drop after that because uh, uh, this uh, like uh, uh, Google Drive right you can go into the Eve and you have also this folder which says EVNG full this is all rare file so that it's easy for you to download but then if uh, you download anything from here you have to extract and then you have to remember that uh, the naming con convention should match so I'll suggest just go here and download this one second one that's what I'm tasting testing in my uh, this video also right so let's uh, wait for this to complete uh, the copying right after that uh, I will uh, resume my video for now I will pause the video okay okay guys so the uh, uh, file has been copied inside my EVNG uh, so here you can see the big IP file yeah it's inside so after this what you need to do is we need to, to copy a permission command so you can get the command from you can say your I will I'll keep it in the description so that you guys uh, can just copy and paste that command. Uh, I can grab it from the EVNG website itself uh, and let me just go and grab the command from EVNG website. so I'll go to my workstation here 
and I log in as root and EVE and then I'll go to edit and paste command and enter. This is the command that you need to copy and paste in there. Uh, do it twice as a safety measure and after that what I can do is I can go to my image topology and again add the node. So if I see here I should have the big IP right. I have this here. This is the 12 dot version. Everything is fine. I need four interfaces including my management. Let me keep this as 4096. Save. Let me run this or uh, what I can do is I can go to my what mm, I can add a network cloud network just to check this management save if this works I'll connect this to my management save and, and then run and we'll wait for this to boot up yeah so let's open up the shell Okay, let's press any key to continue. Define, right click, and change the settings so that uh, the font, right? So most of people com complain to me that the font is very really small and we are not able to see. So from now on, I mean, whenever I may, I may make some videos, right? I will just change the font, increase the size of the font so that you guys can see this. Right, this is fine. So this is starting, and let's wait for this to boot up, right? Okay, this is still booting up right so once this boots up uh, you will have to log in using the default username that is root r o o t all small letters and then password is default d e f a u l t all small letters that is the default username and password with the, which you have to use to log in to your cli of the app okay, let's wait for this to boot up Okay, uh, okay guys, this is the login screen where you have to enter the username root and password is default. Let this run for the password. Uh, okay, E E F A Q L T. Okay, fine. So once this is like accessed, okay, we, once we have access to the CLI. In order to uh, set up the management port, right, you have to type the command config, and this will take you to the wizard mode of the F5. Wherein it will prompt you for the uh, settings, right? So let's wait, and it should uh, okay, config. It should pop up the wizard mode should pop up maybe it just uh, booted up so that's why the services are not there. let's wait for a few minutes and, and uh, again uh, let's resume my uh, video okay guys after waiting for a few minutes uh, this is what you will get after entering the control command here you have to press ok and then it will ask you uh, use the automatic configuration of IP address I will say no because I want to manually enter right so no and then it will ask you for the IP address so I want to cancel because it's not how I would like it and I can press ok no 192.168.1. say I will keep it as 33 and net mask yeah that is fine 255 255 do you want to create a default route? I'll say no, I don't want to create and accept the settings. Yes, I want to accept the settings. So because, because what I have done is I have uh, connected this to my cloud that is my uh, management and that is actually my wireless LAN bridge network, right? So it should be reachable via my PC. So if I go and type I try to ping this IP, it should work. Or else, what I can do is 192.168.1.133. So, yeah, this is working. Uh, so, next, what I can do is I can go and open up the HTTPS to my 133 to my F5 line. Right? Advance and open, and this is your. Uh, 
the login page of your FI. Okay, guys. So the default login for this would be, I think, admin and default again. Uh, let me just search and let you know. Okay, so that should be. Uh, wait for this notification to restart. And yeah, for the for the CLI, it is root and default I. But for the uh, GUI, it should be admin and admin one two three or admin default. Right. Okay, let's wait for this to start, and then you can uh, we can try the username and password uh, okay guys so this is the cli right you, is here here the i mean this is the gui not the cli cli has uh, username root and password uh, uh, default but here i will try admin and admin, admin both admin that should work yeah so both are like admin uh, small letters all small letters right so once this is done you will be asked first of all for licensing the license for the device is not option okay for this i will have another video and uh, and uh, if you want to know how to activate right this uh, and you can get like 30 days of evaluation license from f5 so that is very good you can learn in 30 days i mean you can get three license okay, i'll show you how to register and get the license okay guys for this video this uh, uh, this is it and uh, signing off and before uh, leaving just a reminder please like subscribe and share my channel as much as possible thank you thanks bye bye